Alright, what's going on guys? Today, we are done with PT. So it is about 8 o'clock and we finished doing PT. And, um, you know, just a normal work day, going to the motor pool at 920. So, yeah, this is the first video you're watching. Um, I am a 91 Bravo in the Army and I like to vlog my days. So, we're starting earlier than usual. Usually I start right before we go in, but today you might see my breakfast, which is not going to be fancy, because I have leftover pizza. But, um, I ordered this. It's been hanging up in the Subaru. I didn't know it was gonna have a, uh, like an attachment. Yeah, so I got this from Stein's Gate. It's hanging up in the Subaru. But I didn't know it was gonna have this attachment thing. So I was just gonna like, put it somewhere like on a shelf or something but i think it's it looks cool on the, the mirror so she's just been chilling catching a vibe but yeah it's from uh steins gate so right now gonna go get breakfast and got some leftover pizza so we're going pizza pizza little caesars Hot and ready. Hell yeah. Why is that broken? I was thinking about next. Alright, so the goal today is to get a new tripod. So this one would work with my Canon camera. Which if you can see here, my Canon camera doesn't work all the time. It broke some time ago. So I wanna get a large GoPro one uh, about this size so I can get um, a camera facing towards this way. So when I have the uh, the wheel and you know, whatever, me driving, and then I can share the, that, so I can take this video and then make that into or put that behind a video so i can take this video and then share it straight or stream it to youtube private the video save the video and then download that video onto my computer and then uh edit <laughs> the the camera of me driving into like the side of that and i can make a um like a gaming video but i know some of you guys said you do want to see the the setup on the channel and some and i don't know just i think it'd be a good addition uh more looking into streaming once i get a better computer and i'm able to uh run because i need an elgato if i will stream to run the uh the image in line with that because I need to add, because I know the GoPro has uh, live stream capabilities, but I need to do something with the PlayStation, so I need an Elgato. So, yep, that's uh, that's that. I have an appointment in like half an hour, so I'm gonna be going to that and then going back to the motor pool. Yeah, I took some time off. You know, I pre recorded some videos and then took time off, but. Um, the goal is to make some videos longer. I enjoy making or watching long videos. So, you know, if I'm making long videos, I feel like more people will enjoy it and they'll get an actual feel. Uh, Cause like my goal here is to be the most authentic as I possibly can. So they'll get a more of a feel of what I do on my day-to-day -day basis rather than, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm gonna do. Hey, I did it but I wanna take you guys along and show you guys the process of how I'm doing things and what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do my best to give that uh, authentic feel so I can go back and watch this video and be like, hey, that's what I did today and not just be like, you know, jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. Unless you guys want that, then it's an easier video to make, but I like, I'm gonna give myself the challenge and try to make these videos longer. All right, got to schedule an appointment, so I came. 
Um, you also have to get screened every time you enter a building. So I already, I've already been screened, but this is the date, I think. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is the date. Is today the 10th? Yeah. The hell was that? I don't know if you guys heard that, but, uh, this is where you go. Um, this is like the main place. It's Connor Troop Medical Clinic. That's what it is. Just got my labs done. Um, I went to schedule an appointment and they're like, oh, we can do it right now. So I'm like, okay. So we just did it. And just want to let you guys know it, the weather has been beautiful today. It is 54 degrees. Um, it's supposed to be the, my car is saying 46, but it's supposed to be 54. Um, as you can see with the PC, usually these things don't whip these things out till like April, but, uh, it's like middle March and it's been good. Life's been good. Weather's warming up, uh, doing more outside and it's time to go back to work. And then I think I'm going to have, uh, chicken patties for lunch got some from walmart i like to say walmart chicken is better than tyson or whatever what's that other brand name brand but they're too thin the walmart chicken hits different even though it's probably like mixed with like preservatives or whatever but it, it's good all right uh heading back to the motor pool all right, so uh, I'll let you guys know when I go back to the motor pool. I did go back and uh, did some things, but I'll show you that uh, after lunch. But this is what I'm eating for lunch. Great value chicken. I'm telling you, this is better than Tyson chicken. I think it's what the brand is. But it's just more breaded and it's thicker. So one of these. And some sliced bread. Great value, of course. People just ask, uh, why don't you eat the defect? I do eat the defect, but I prefer this occasionally. But also, like, I got shit on sale, so I don't, I don't mind, like, spending extra money to eat what you want. But eating out, I know I was eating out a lot. I'm going to stop that, I'm trying to save a little bit of bread. Um, yeah, but eating out gets expensive, so if you're just eating in, it's uh, better for your pockets. But I'll let you guys know what I was up to at the motor pool once I go back. Because it's hard to just like record things all day. So yeah. See that is what I am talking about. 58 degrees. And with warm weather will become more videos on the car. Want to do a couple things with this. And we have some things for the Civic. And maybe the Dakota. But there's a lot to do with this car. So it is hot out compared to what it normally is. Let me see. All right, so I took two of these batteries um, using a battery tester, and this will show you the cold cranking amps of the battery and the voltage. So you hook that up, put in, these batteries have 1200 or rated to 1200, but good batteries, they have 13 volts and like 1400 cold cranking amps. So these are the old ones from the vehicle, and this is a trickle charger. So see if the batteries are bad completely, and we'll try to, bring them back with a trickle charger. But if not, they'll just go to waste. So I'm gonna hook this up. Um, these are all the other batteries in here. We have a lot. Um, yeah, need to trickle charge these. Put one up here, put one over here. And yeah, that's what I was doing before lunch, just uh, seeing these batteries and which ones were good and which one weren't and putting one in a vehicle, which these batteries are run in parallel so to get the voltage because each one is supposed to be 12 volts and it's a 24 volt system so you run these in parallel and it'll bring the voltage up so the positive or over here positive negative positive negative so it goes line here here to here and then here to the truck so these two go to the truck and these two are connected in parallel but if you run them in series it would maintain that voltage. So like bigger vehicles will have four batteries and it'll be a 24 volt system, but it'll have a uh, parallel and series ran. So it will 
um, they have a higher voltage and higher amps amperage because you have more voltage. So yeah, they need a uh, more amperage to turn over the starters and whatnot. So just gotta put these on. Also, these like the Optimus. I don't know what the red tops are for, but I know the yellows are for generators. Um, but the reds, I think, are like the four wheelers and stuff that I had in the videos, like two videos ago, I think. Yeah, but yeah, these are pretty cool. We were using. Um, like a civilian setup, but they put these on, which is just as good, I would guess. But it's Pulse Tech, which is, I know that brand. Oh yeah, these are like some facts about all that. Um, yeah, do a lot with batteries here, you know, cause that's like the one thing, like you gotta keep batteries alive to be able to do a lot of this. Because if you don't have batteries, your truck won't start. Also, I just want to point out that it will state the what it's supposed to be, which is 12 volts, 1200 cold carrying amps. And, and this is at 25 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is to uh, Fahrenheit, but on the civilian side. So like a lot of this transfers over, like Optima is a battery you can buy on the civilian side. And it'll have your CA cranking amps and your cold cranking amps, which tells you if battery is good or not. Like this, I literally have the same battery in my hatch and yeah. So, you know, like these are like the bad batteries. Uh, I should, I could do a whole video about batteries. It just, there's so much about batteries and there's a lot of things that people don't know about them. So put these on the trickle charger. And then people ask me like, what do you do most on these trucks? Um, batteries for sure over like everything but batteries is just maintenance if you maintain these batteries well you know um start your vehicle let it get up to temp batteries should be good but when you start letting batteries sit is when they go bad that's where i'm at with like my cars back at home because i don't get started enough and yeah go in depth about batteries all of this can get translated over to civilian side um, I know you guys asked me like if this job helps with civilian knowledge and I had this knowledge prior to the army, but yes, they do teach it to you at school in AIT, but yes, it's like multiple things here, but a lot of it does translate to civilian side, like, uh, like the, you'll see this in a shop, um, like an auto zone or something, trickle charger. I know we had these when I was in school. We got a exhaust bolt. Where is it? Right here. So this one. Well, this is a 12 point and it's rusted. So uh, I don't think this exhaust has ever been taken down. So that's a 12 point. I don't want to use a 12 point on this. Though it might work. But it'll um, probably mess up the bolt just because it's so tight on there. And we're using a impact and it's a chrome socket. So it tends to get out. And there's also one here, but it looks like it's loose to hold stuff up. So there's not as much. Well, there is a lot of tension on this, but if we can, they sprayed it down. Uh, just brought my impact. See if we have a, uh, is able to use an impact on this, but if not a uh, large extension, and then come down and get more leverage on it. We're trying to take this off. Is it eight point? Is it really an eight point? Do you have a deep, uh, it's not an eight point, it's a 12 point. So it ended up being this one, which I didn't really look at it. And then it is stripped and you can't get on it with impact because the exhaust itself is in the way and then on top the oil filter and whatever the exhaust is over here also so um pulling down the front drive shaft which you usually so this is a flywheel job you usually if you guys saw um i don't know if i recorded that actually but we did do a flywheel and we just pulled it back 
which this extends enough to be able to fit it. So I'm gonna remove this. Thought it was this one because it looks fresh, but it was the strip one. So remove this, pull this down, and then be able to get into a grinder or a cutoff wheel in here with that gap because it is loose. Or just um, cut the, uh, the head of the bolt off, which it's like a, it's a very large cutoff wheel. So, army issued. They use the Walt stuff, which, you know, some, I don't know, the Walt kind of sucks, but I guess it'll do the job here. All right, so I was able, wait. I was able to cut this one. Right here, they want to cut this. It went super smooth with that. That's it. But um, cut it in the middle because it was uh, rotted. And then this one came off real easy. This one came off really easy. So I think this side is being held up on top-ish area. Then these bolts are out. So once those are off, are off this exhaust should come down but we rarely have to use um cutoff wheels because we're able to do it other ways but they're always good to have um if we didn't have a cutoff wheel i don't know how else we would have been able to do this because of uh because we've been trying to get two days really yeah trying to get that bolt off for two days yes, all right but um yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just getting this much room because we, we were able to get into it on an angle. So because this is angled, it actually helped us out in our favor because we were able to just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you see the angle on that, um, it goes down more. So you're able to put it in through yeah, because like the way it fits. So yeah, we pulled that down. Uh, our drive shaft barely came out we were able to get that down so yes it came off this is the the uh engine mounts it goes through here they're kind of annoying to get to uh when you do an engine swaps so usually we change the mounts also mm, that's it just like little things you can see these are all there's four different separate belts small belts um, it's a castle nut to the uh this is how it's steered so like this is the uh there's an inner and then outer and then another so it's like a tension style in the middle so you have two adjusting like it's like the slr angle kit um it's using the same style of tie rod and then the rack castle nut castle nut and then this is what goes through. This is your box, your steering box. Well, I don't know if they call it a steering box on this setup, but yeah, it's kind of cool how these are set up. This is different. Yeah, this is spinning room right here. What? Right here, huh? Oh. That nut is spinning when I turn this bolt. Are you able to get a wrench? I mean, you have both my 916s. This is leaking. Uh, Obviously. Uh, oil dipstick. It's like little things. You can go over like the whole suspension system if you guys wanted it in a video. No drive shaft. So the uh, on a diesel trucks, this is more common, I'm pretty sure. But I've never seen it on a gasoline vehicle. Is the uh, the rotors on the inside connected to the differential? There's uh, more torque or stopping force i remember i saw this on uh chris fixes humvee before mm, what else use a uh, dual wishbone suspension setup you know basic stuff i've taken like all this off there's pretty much nothing like we haven't done on these trucks all right so this is that one truck that was hella customized 
that I did a video on like a long, long, long time ago, months ago, um, with like everything done back here. You guys can see if it went on the other side. But um, hold on. yeah. So yeah, I showed I showed this in a, a very in detail on a different video. But this truck is not a truck I'm used to working on. Um, so this the linkage and whatnot is different. Hold on, I'm gonna get under there. So yeah, the linkage. If you guys remember from uh, some of my older videos, uh, how the linkage is on these, this one is very different. So. So have to take off that bolt right here to take off this linkage and uh for the transfer case it's this it's similar it's like right here this linkage right here it's a quarter pin so either that or there's a quarter pin right there so you can just pull it out of there uh, but we're just gonna slide this back like that other flywheel that we did um, but the only reason we took the front drive shaft off is because of the exhaust bolt. Usually you don't have to, but we ended up just doing it because we couldn't take off the exhaust bolt. So right now, try to get to this one, that bolt, where is it, this bolt, and use the impact. And I have different sizes. I think it's a 17. It is a 17. What? Gotta open up this uh, transmission to get the serial number off of it. I don't know if that's it. I hope not, cause I'm gonna open it up. But it's like screws on the side. I just have a flight head and a hammer. So you get it open pretty fast. I've done one of these in a video, if you guys go back. We do a lot of transmissions also, um, considering what it, you know, the job. So learn to drive. Operators, please. All right, guys, so that's the end of today's video. You know, just got back around like 17.30 and I'm just gonna put some time in on the um, the sim and play some Destiny 2 while I'm home. So that's the end of today's video, guys. You know, like, comment, subscribe. You know, y'all know the deal. And if you guys like these kinds of videos, subscribe. We post every other day, semi-daily. And comment down below if you have any video ideas and things you want to see about the army. So that's uh, my setup. And that's Dancing Dragons out. Peace.